sneaky little spec tonight. Tonight we've got Simply Mepis, the latest beta release of the Simply Mepis stuff. So really nice. Give you a quick look through. As you can see, desktop's nice and clean. And a couple of bits up there. Super. Looks really nice. Runs KDE, by the way. And one of the latest kernels. So that's even better. So we go to the menu. Games. Not a lot. Just a couple. Graphics. You do get uh, Gimpy. And you get open office and you know, all stuff like that. Internet. Get Blue Devil for your Bluetooth, by the way. You get Dropbox for your network stuff. Firefox is the main browser here. Although their Conquer is there for your old dad, you know, you, that you missed. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. K3B is here. K9 is here as standard as well, which is pretty good. Office is all open office, by the way. All open office. So that will change in the next year or so. Settings, uh, you get some Java stuff and the network assistant, etc., etc. But I'll come into that a bit later. System, okay. Dolphin is your file browser here, and you can use it straight from the root here as well, as long as you've got your password, of course. And you get some stuff here. You look Picard stuff, and stuff, system monitor, synaptics here, utilities, plenty there, kcalc, and there. The usual you would, you would expect from a, a KDE distro, so it's all nice. And even sweeper, sweeper. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Rather liked it myself. It's all right. It runs really nice and cool. Get four desktops, system settings, Dolphin as your file manager, as I said earlier. Firefox, the latest 4.08 beta. Uh, then you've got notifications, as you would in KDE. No updates available. There's my clipboard. And there's also my volume. And I'm using VBox, as you can see, and I'll put the additions in. A bit of jiggery pokery to get that one working on this one, by the way bit of jiggery pokery but glad to get a decent resolution so that's all right so we'll go straight to the mepis site from here as you can see i'll open it up in a new firefox nice tells you all about it you can get the stable ones if you so wish to and they are really nice to use don't get me wrong they're really really nice gives a bit of stuff here to about this tell about debian stable it works on debian bloody 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 blah but we're using the simply mepis 11.0 beta 1 release i'll highlight here for you now it is a dvd it is no longer a cd that could be a bit of a bummer oh bloody what was it i've got some updates down the bottom there that's really nice i'm actually doing the actual review and i've got updates to do it's just told me we've got updates so i'll go and do that but you can read that through that another time yourself so i'm going to right click that and upgrade all my packages and basically we just wait a while after i've put my password in of course after yeah i know and app get comes up which is basically terminal for you and me do i do it yes so you put a y in because you want to do it don't you yes of course i do Yay. Now, these are not verified packages, but as it's a beta, I'm not too worried about that, and I'm right in the box anyway, because we're just testing it and showing you what it's all about. So anyway, I'll cut that bit of the video, because that was taking a long time to download. So we've downloaded it all, now it's reading the database, and it's going to actually start installing all the stuff that we really want to use. Or well, update them anyway, you know what I'm saying. So we just wait a bit, wait a bit. It was with a lot where you are. Snowy near again, bloody snow. Oh, no. Yeah, so I wait a bit longer, a bit longer, a bit longer. As you see, I've made this video a bit shorter than normal because it's only a beta, and I'm going to wait until a nice full release, maybe in a month or so time, and that'll be really nice then. It'll be really super. And I'll put it on a full machine and go from there. I have installed it on a full machine, and it runs really nice, but to do the video, it's easier to do it in VirtualBox. So that's the reason why, before anybody asks. Okay, Caden Live. It comes with Caden Live. Okay. Now, if you've never used Caden Live before, you're going to ooh, don't be frightened. It's all right. So I'm going to open up the website first. So I'll just click there. It takes us straight to the website. Now, the version they got here is 0 0.7.8. Now, I don't think that's the most current version, but it's the version we're going to use. There's plenty of forums for Caden Live. You can always get it sorted at the end of the day. Don't worry about it. Just use the program. Plus, if it does crash, it does actually save all your stuff, so it's no big deal. Now, just checking all the stuff we need. We've got all that. We'll click Next. Now, for YouTube videos, I'll just use 720 at the moment because my upload speed is so not very good. So 720 gives a good quality for videos and stuff like that. But obviously, if you've got a decent upload speed, like more than half a gig or half a meg, should I say, you can do 1080, no problem. But if I've done 1080, it'd take bloody years to upload anything. But it's what Caden and Live looks like. If you've never used it before, give yourself an hour and just work your way around it. It's easy to use, no problem. 
So, yeah, that's pretty nice too. And it's only a beta, by the way. It's only a beta. It's all right. Yeah, I like he. I like he lots, actually. So, I'm going to go to the system settings. Now, for, I done a video the other day, and this is identical, isn't it? Do you remember what video it was? Go on. Mail me and tell me what video it was. It was identical, because it's only the other day. But you can actually change anything you want. Sharing, device actions, Bluetooth, network settings, your multimedia. You can change anything you really want from this section here. So, we'll close that and get out of the way. Oh, yeah. oh I forgot. It's KD, isn't it? So, we can add widgets and stuff. So, we're going to add a widget. So, I'm going to add a clock, I think. So, I've opened up the old widget thingy. The binary clock. Now, do you read binary? I do have some trouble, especially after midnight, because that just doesn't tell the time to me. But if you're one of those sort of people who likes the binary clock, no bleeding problem. But I'm not going to get it one. No. We'll get rid of that. We'll do something else. I'll tell you what, we'll go along. There's bouncy ball, bell mouth. We'll put the calendar in. All you do is just drag and drop. If you've never used KDE before, this is what you do. You go down to the thing, drag and drop it up. Lovely. Now, I'm not a KDE user, but if I was, my old desktop would be full with rubbish at the end of the day. So, best to not use it too much, really, is it, eh? Nah. So, right click, that's what you get, by the way. I'm going to open a Fox one more time, because the video's getting near the end now. So, that's all you get, because I've not got a home page specified. So, I'm going to put in the tube, now, basically, just to see if it plays Flash videos straight away. Now, knowing Mepis, it should do, but we're just going to test it and make sure. So I'll click there. Now, looks all right for me. It looks really nice. Mm. But, so I don't break the law. You should watch one of my videos. So I put me in. There we go. Tap on the old enter. There we go. There's some of my videos. Basically, all I'm going to do is just click on one. That one I do. Done it the other day, didn't I? Was it last week? I can't remember. It plays nice. Look, all working. So your BBC iPlayer and everything will work nice and fine. Super. Now, if you want something different, Mepis is fine. And now the KDE's come online and it's nice and stable, even better. So, 4 out of 5. Sneaky Linux out.